Hello all, in this video, we are going to see how to delete a dog in our dogs management system. For that, you have to finish at least Spring Boot 9 uh, because you have a delete uh, um, link in the views pages, view dog page, view dogs pages. Uh, so make sure you finish Spring Boot 9 before you start with Spring Boot 11 video. Go to your uh, Eclipse, write your uh, controller method for deleting a dog. delete dog and when you delete dog you need to take an object dog okay so here on what basis you are going to delete a dog on a basis of id or on a basis of name or on basis of uh, something else so let's figure out based on id first okay you may not be able to see this functionality through your naked eye because everything will be able to take seamlessly through your repo, okay, uh, with uh, JPA. Um, let's do with dog repo. Dot. find by, you can see find all by ID or find by ID, okay? So since we will be having only one ID because ours is primary key, let's do with this, okay? And if you look at here, this is this is returning a type of optional dog and this is of CRUD repository, okay? So this method is in the CRUD repository. Our ID is nothing but dog dot get id okay so again if you don't know what the return type is you could uh, create a simple local variable of um, let's say dog now dog is already there put d and then create a local variable for d which is of optional type dog d okay let's see what that does mean um, let's go to crud CRUD repository API find by ID, which is ID, retrieves an entity by its ID that returns an optional type of that particular type, optional of dog in our case. Let's go ahead and read a little bit of documentation. A container object which may or may not contain a null value, okay, if the value is present by using is present method it would return true and get the return of that particular value, okay? Sometimes there might be some null values. So at the time you might be uh, not be able to fetch that one. So in that case, you can uh, say that or else thing that you could be able to write. So additional methods depend on the presence or absence of the contained value or provided such as or else. So if the value is some null values, what you would be able to do it will automatically create an or else. So in our first example, we will see is present. In the next example, we will see or else, okay? Uh, and and execute that particular code, okay? So we'll, we'll go back to our uh, Eclipse and see what would happen. So we will be using optional now and we will be using is present, okay? So how to do is present? So basically you could do it as like a dog found, like a nice variable name. Initially I wrote dog, but dog is already existing. So you could write dog found. If, if is present, right? So that option, if dog, if dog found dot is present, what you have to do, if it is there, you have to delete it. How to delete it? Dog. Repo dot 
delete that particular entity doc okay so we delete it so basically what we did is we used our doc repository we find by id and using that which id by whatever the id that we are going to pass and we found the doc if we found the doc yes if we don't found we are not going to delete that so then we would be basically return return after deleting we want to return it to the home right so that means uh, you could directly write home. That means you are calling the method home here. Method home that would set the home already and then return MV. So you don't have to repeat these two statements again because it's already there in the home. Okay, so this is a, a simple code for your return method, uh, for your uh, delete dog method. Okay, let's see whether this would work or not. Yeah, I should have request mapping here before I run something. What is this? Okay, so this has to be, so look at that. Where are we? Do we have delete page here? For delete, we don't have to have a page at all, right? So basically we are deleting. Where we are deleting? We are deleting it in the view docs. So go to, go there and see what you have, which is nothing but delete dog. Okay, so we have to use this as our request mapping name. In the doc controller, use request mapping, save it, and then we will execute that in just a second. Local doc home, view dogs, and deleting foxhound. Okay, look at this here delete id it has been done okay so let me check in the database whether it has been deleted or not again remember there is no confirmation message before you go here well, we will be doing confirmation and error messages in later on videos so we have only one okay so it has been deleted and if you notice here it has been deleted also select that particular dog where id is equal to that question mark id is nothing but whatever the id that you would see here id2 that has been deleted so hibernate does all this for us okay so this is a nice way that you would be able to uh, delete a dog and if you want to view dog now you have only one dog okay so uh, let, let, let me add a few more dogs id2 and uh, i want to add gunner dog and the breed name is uh, let's say plea and then add dog i think it has been added you could check in the database yes two dogs are added Search we haven't written yet. View dog. No, add dog. I want to add three. And uh, I want to add, um, what, what was the earlier one that I added? Gunner. And I would like to add maybe foxhound now. Add new dog. Okay. Um, select rows. Okay. So I have two dog names with gunner and all the different breed names, right? So now what I want to do is I want to do with based on the name. That's why I wrote two names, uh, two dogs with same names. So I want to delete based on the name, okay? For that, what I have to do, again, same thing, dog repo dot find, okay, look at this. 
So by default, that repository, JPA repository is giving us um, find by ID. It's not giving by find by name or find by breed or something. Why? Because it doesn't know that we are going to use breed and name. And for student, you might be using um, student gender and student grade. Okay. So by default, it will give by primary key, not by other column names. For that, what we could do is we could write our own method in our dog repository. Okay. So in a go to the dog repository class, oh, sorry, interface. And we know that this is interface. Interface would have all the abstract methods and constants, or you may have some default methods, right? So we are not going to implement anything here. We are just telling the dog repository to find by ID. Sorry, find by name. And whenever you want to find by name, do you want to take a string name as parameter? Okay. And that would return what? You may have one name or you may have multiple names, right? So you could return string, that's fine. But if you want to delete all, you could be able to delete, you could be able to use list. The return type of list is of type dog. Okay, so this is a simple uh, method that you would be able to use. So and import the list interface here. Okay, so find name by dog. As I said, you may have multiple dogs with the same name and you would be returning the list of that particular dog. Okay, so now go to the dog controller. You would be able to see find by name and what name you would be able to get that you already passed dog object here, you would be able to do dog dot get name. Okay, so I want you to comment this because you should not write anything after the return statement. Um, you know, so just comment all the ID stuff basically. Okay, so dog dot get name. So this is of type what? This is of type. It should be list, not just the name. It should be the list. List of type dog. And you could name it as dogs font. I think you have to import this one more time. R look at this here. You're having ANTLR collections and you have Java util collection for the list. So, and other, other lists as well. So make sure you import util. Okay. So there you have that uh, collection thing. Um, list interface basically. Okay. Now we got dogs found. Okay. So now what we need to do is we have to see whether that particular, no, not, yeah, that particular dog or all the dogs should be deleted, right? So for that, so since this is list, we could use an enhanced for loop. That enhanced for loop, um, you might have forget how, how to write enhanced for loop. Dog d is equal to, not is equal to, dogs found. Dog, how to delete this by using dog repo dot dog repo dot delete, which is nothing but dog D. Okay, and then we deleted all the dogs by using enhanced for loop, and we would return home. Okay, so this is a simple code again. So basically what we did is we write our own method here in the dog repository and that returns a list. I mean, whatever the written type, that's up to you. And if we found more dogs, we will be deleting all that stuff and return home, okay? So go to your 
thing. Local host of dog. View or delete dogs. I have three dogs here, right? And uh, I want to delete by the gunner. Delete with the ID2, name this one, but I'm deleting based on the find by find by name so it should delete all the dogs with the name gunner okay let me select one more time and see i have only one record which is not there uh, which uh, that means two gunner records has been deleted so now this is i see only one record here okay so this is one way that we would be able to do and i would like to comment this as well and I want to show one more, which we already said. So one thing is here, we looked at is present um, and we did uh, return an optional type dog. Otherwise we could do or else. We have seen that in our uh, API, right? We could see or else also. I want to um, demonstrate that one as well for you. Okay. So basically, you would be able to always check dog repo first. Dog repo dot find by ID dog dot get ID. Okay. And let's say you want to name it as dog D. So now it will ask you it has to be of type optional dog but we want to do it as dog d only right so that means you have to do either or else or else i mean if you find a dog this one you use the dog to delete but if you don't find what would what you need to do is you have to create a new dog because of non-null values okay but in our case we always have dog id there otherwise we cannot delete okay and now what you need to do is just delete the dog sorry dog repo dot delete dog entity of d okay so you would be deleting and returning home okay so this is also simple code basically you'll be writing or else or else would be able to tell if the dog is not existing, it would create its own dog with the default values, okay? With the default constructor values, because we don't have a constructor, remember. And container, spring container will provide one for us with default values. Uh, Localhost, or modify dog. I have only one dog. Let me have a new dog before I add something. Three, I don't know what is ID there. Let me put seven. Ranks, and this would be Blue Hound. Add new dog, view dogs. Yes, we got this. And if we want to delete, um, by the way, what? On what basis we are deleting? We are deleting based on the ID itself, but by using or else. Okay, so let me delete this one, Greyhound, and then view, we should be able to see. And automatically your database also should be able to see that. I deleted Greyhound, left over with Blue, blue Hound. And you always can find this Hibernate uh, um, commands would be able to see exactly whatever the operations that I did on the browser, you would be able to see this here okay so with this we are done with uh, how to delete a dog um, using the um, find by id or by using or else or by um, creating our own method in the dog repository based on whatever the attribute that we want to delete in our case we deleted by using name of the dog if you want you could use by breed of the dog as well. Okay. So thanks for watching.